Can I just have one question, yes, Digo? Yeah. Uh, what are the odds of Chief busting a, a button on his shirt during the finals? Oh, dollar five. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> they banned him from business cards with five. He just started gnawing on the furniture. <laughs> like, how big is he at the moment? <laughs> What's he doing, Dicko? Oh, what are you doing hey, to him? True story. Went down to the skinny dog last week when he had a weekend off, and we're on the. He had two stools underneath him. <laughs> one for each cheek. <laughs> right, Dicko, thanks for that. Thanks, boys. But, uh, <laughs> Bristol, before you leave, we need to uh, attend to business. In 2009, the Saturday Rub brought you the iconic... World according to the cool breeze. <laughs> and now, <laughs> it brings you... Cool Breeze Chronicles. Oh. <laughs> How, did you, how hard did you squeeze him to get that sort of low voice out, thank, Warrior? Thank I think you had him. Thank goodness you got that intro because the rest of the crap you deliver is just absolute <laughs> oh, no. nonsense. Oh, no. It's about your life, BT. And what we do now is we're moving on to the 1987 season. You're off the oh. high of the, the Coleman medal and the 100 goals the previous <laughs> year where it was all about me. <laughs> and you're back to your old ways, BT, it's fair to say. Your career's uh, starting to end the way it began with a, in a feat of uh, So he reached anger. the mountain and now yeah, the he's, he's, he's on the downhill. Got the, yeah. got the Coleman medal. Been up there yeah. a while. Yeah, 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 been up there a while. So we get to a game against yes. Melbourne oh, and... And here we go again. You're reported by three umpa- oh. umpires <laughs> <laughs> for, for, quote, a string of fiery incidents. And I go to the match report at the time. Taylor, unsighted in the first three quarters, had just, <laughs> <laughs> had just marked and seemed destined to boot a goal when he swung around and clashed with Danny Hughes. It was the eighth time the two had clashed that quarter. Taylor had blood streaming from his face after a clash with Hughes and Grinter. So you go to the tribunal, BT, and this is what I love in your defence. You actually represented yourself. <laughs> and, and you provided this. And this is a quote, and we'll put it up on the social media platforms of uh, Triple M Footy soon. I just took a wild swing to break the tackle, and I happened to make contact with Hughes's face. <laughs> I must point out that at no stage did I look at Hughes and aim specifically for his head. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, I contacted with his head. <laughs> and, then you, and then you do suck it up, BT. You, uh, you're complaining in this tribunal hearing about, I cop it every week, everyone comes at me. That's right. And That's it was right. your fourth suspension. That's you copped right. a suspension. The, and the Every previous weeks. record came out in the tribunal. You'd been suspended, as we have discovered in the yes. uh, Kilbury's Chronicles, yes. that you uh, were suspended for insulting gesture to an umpire. Mm. You are in, uh, suspended for disputing an umpire's decision, wasting time and unduly Basically rough a clean, play. clean skin I was. <laughs> the same season, there's a, also a reference to where you kick Collingwood's only two goals in a game oh, against no. Collingwood. Two yeah. goals, 6-18. Against, against and then who? Against, against North who? Melbourne. Against, against, yeah, North. against North Melbourne. 10, 12, 72 to 2, 6, 18. And once again, you make it about yourself when you're interviewed post-game. It well, is the, well, it was. It, it is the first <laughs> time I've ever, be, ever been my team's only goal kicker. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, in Mickey Martin style, <laughs> I did my job. <laughs> and we'll finish the Kilbris Chronicles of today with a uh, quite explosive article, Jim, written yes. by, in a first-person way, by Ray Slug Jordan, oh, who I think... Oh, yeah. Great man. Was it Sunday Slug. Press or Sunday... Sunday Press. Observer? Sunday Press. Yeah, yeah, Sunday Observer. Press. So, back-page story, written by Ray Slug Jordan, opening line, Lee Matthews, you need to sack Brian Taylor. <laughs> and he, said, he said that you uh, have become what's known as the Taylor Crisis. Oh. He said that you remind him of Mark Jackson. Oh, oh now come on. And, and we know what Lee, uh, Ron Barassi had done to Mark Jackson. And Taylor's behaviour yesterday follows several recent outbursts, outbursts similar in nature. I understand he hurled a clipboard onto the ground after being pulled off the ground by Lee Matthews oh, two weeks ago. Oh no. In yesterday's game, Lee, you dragged Taylor because of his, he was too busy scuffling with his St Kilda opponent, Mark Gamble. So busy was he scuffling oh. with Mark Gamble, he failed to watch <laughs> oh. the ball come downfield. It bounced off Taylor's head. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Oh. He's a Supreme Court judge now, Mark Gamble. Wow. And Lee, this is, this, is Lee, yeah. this is Ray Slug Jordan's uh, own piece. Lee, you question the forward's lifestyle away from his football commitments. Oh, it's man. time you tell Brian to 
Ship out. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember when he took me off for that particular incident. I got to the bench. Eddie Hillgrove, our team manager, is standing there with a little magnetic ball with yes. all the players on it. I got it, and I absolutely boomeranged it as far as I could yeah. to the middle of the ground. Magnets went flying everywhere. Yeah. For the next 10 minutes, Eddie Hillgrove's crawling around on his hands and knees looking for all the magnets. Actually, uh, Daryl Baldock, that particular oh. game, I do remember it, BT, he said... Uh, Brian's on the way down. You normally get him, but we're going to put young Mark Gamble on him. I said, no worries. I'll go on Stasevich. So even uh, the old doc thought oh. you were on a slippery slide oh. there, Brian. Oh, 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 Spud uh, just building oh, himself into the story. Oh, oh boy. And uh, not only building himself into the story, <laughs> putting himself on the athletic Craig Stasevich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe what I'm oh, hearing. Oh, oh, did I say that? Oh, Mark no. Gamble's uh, on your boots. Uh, that's it. And Slug Jordan, Gamble, of course. Oh, yes. uh, great uh, North Teal Melbourne Cup heritage. And a Teal yeah. Cup uh, coach. A legendary yes, coach. Like, he was, the late Slug Jordan. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. your, your career's uh, starting to spiral out of control yeah. again, Boots. I love so, it. I love the Chronicles. Uh, They're that, beautiful. Uh, that's great. I'm learning something about you yeah. every week in here. Why weren't you old enough to see me, Doug? Well, uh, <laughs> in Wagga, we didn't get. Uh, oh, we, just got ma- we just got match of the round. Hey, uh, Bristol, yeah. you're heading off. <laughs>